Hello, and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today, we're going to take a look at weld symbols and their use in and around our welding industry. Understanding weld symbols in a welding shop is just as important as knowing how to speak Spanish if I go to Mexico, speak Thai if I go to Thailand, or speak French if I go to France. The welding symbol is the language of our welding industry. And the beauty of welding symbols are is that they are visual in nature and it doesn't matter what language we speak or where we live, we're all capable of understanding and using weld symbols. The first part we'll take a look at here is something called the reference line. So this is the backbone or the foundation of everything we do in and around our welding symbol. The arrowhead points to the location that the weld is to be placed or made. And the tail is used to capture information that we don't find on the reference line or any other dimension or symbol that might be placed there. The most important thing you need to take away from our discussion today is is that everything that's placed on the reference line below it corresponds to the arrow side of the joint that the arrowhead points at. Also, everything that is above the reference line corresponds to everything that is on the other side of where the arrowhead is pointing. Also, it doesn't matter whether the arrowhead points up down, or even has a bend in it. The arrow side and the other side and their orientation to the reference line never changes. Even if we switch both ends of the tail and the arrow, that orientation between the other side and the arrow side and its reference to the reference line never changes. Thanks again for taking a few minutes to hang out with us and learn some of the basics of weld symbols. In future videos, we're going to cover all the other components, symbols, dimensions, and tools that we have in our language that we call welding symbols. So once again, speaking welding symbols in a weld shop is just as important as speaking Swiss if I go to Switzerland, German if I go to Germany, or Russian if I go to Russia. So once again, thank you for taking the time to be with us. If you like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check back often, and we'll make sure that we have things here that are informative and interesting for you in the future. Thanks again, and have a great day.